All right, y'all. So, you know, I'm out here trying to eat good, eat healthy and all that shit, man. So I'm eating this motherfucking uh, chicken salad and I end up chewing some of the food and I bit down on something hard. Like to sit down there, cut half of my little bit of my gum because I was trying to move it around, see what the fuck it was. And I find some fucking glass in my motherfucking food. Come on, homie. Y'all can't tell me this ain't no serious issue. Oh, it's going down. I'm finna sue they motherfucking ass. Let's go. So Nina Boy had a video where he said it was a piece of glass in his little El Polo Loco Taco Bowl. And I'm sitting there like this nigga made a video. I'm thinking he is crippin' as he is and gangsta and loped out and checked his game though. He didn't go tell them people nothing. He didn't record telling them people nothing. Hey, I found some glass in this motherfucking bowl. You ain't tell them motherfuckers nothing. Talking about he about to sue. The energy and vibe I got from I said, this nigga trying to get some money. He trying to get some money for rent. That's what that is. He feels some type of way. He out here scheming and scamming. He probably learned some game from Charleston White. He been talking shit about Charleston White. Charleston White said he sue every job that he go to. And Nina Boy was like, check that game note. And Nina Boy went his ass in El Polo Loco. And all of a sudden, put some glass. Ain't you going to... Why the fuck you spit the glass? He didn't spit that glass in there. He put that shit out of his mouth and put it on top of the bowl. And made a video trying to convince us that... That he chewed on some motherfucking glass. I'm sitting there like... Let me be one of them workers. Senor, you gotta leave. It's not a glass. He made that shit up trying to get a lawsuit. He trying to sue the SA. That's what he trying to do. He thought he was gonna get over on. He trying to sue them people. Lying. There ain't no... I can understand a motherfucking chicken bone. That makes sense because they be grinding up chicken. No, that's wine polo. I'm thinking about the polos. They sound together. Because I be eating them wine polo big ass burritos. Them motherfuckers be having some chicken bones. I'm like, these motherfuckers gonna kill a nigga. This shit, you gotta chew thoroughly. That should be giving me some understanding a little bit, but man, ain't no mother. How the fuck a piece of glass get in there? If it, if so, this true story. I used to live in Lake Lakewood, Colorado. I used to work at this company, Tarumo BCT, medical shit. Hood nigga, I was, I was down there detoxing, but I ain't had no business being over there. But I got this supervisor position. I'm flying in a motherfucker. I had a work phone, everything. It was this white dude in Subway. But it was a black dude too. The black dude was always talking. Oh, how your day going? Did it? White dude didn't talk shit. And I could tell the vibe was off when I go in there and order my little tuna sandwich. I get a tuna sandwich. First, I was doing teriyaki sandwiches, and I put this uh the uh, sweet onion with the chipotle Southwest sauce because I seen this dude try it. I was like, oh, let me. What the fuck is chipotle? Let me try that shit. I tried the shit. Man, I'm, I, I did not trust this nigga. And I'm not like one of them dudes when I order food. I'm all in, in your shit staring at you to make sure you cook my shit right. Just the vibe was off. So he would never talk. But I, I just tell him what the fuck I want on my sandwich. I'm like, damn, this nigga, little white nigga not friendly at all. You can tell something weird. So I would always check my sandwich. I checked my sandwich one day. It's a motherfucking safety pin in that motherfucker. I looked at the motherfucking counter at him. I just walked out. When I should have sued they motherfucking ass, but I was a young nigga, I didn't even think about that. I just charged the game. I was like, God gonna get that nigga karma, gonna fuck him up. I was like, man, I should have got that nigga name something. Should have beat the brakes off that nigga after work. I didn't think about it. I was just happy as fuck. I'm like, man, I ain't going that motherfucker no more. And I got too much to lose because I was making good money at that time. In 2015, I was making 17, 25 an hour. Now y'all be like, that ain't shit. But in 2015, it was. Shit, I was about, what, 22 at that time? Oh, that was some good-ass motherfucking money to be making. Plus, I was working second shift, and I ran third shift, so my checks would be looking crazy. Now, that's when I learned about tax. I said, damn, the more money you make, the more money they take. Fucking thieves. Now, up there, I got to start claiming non-exempt. I, I was at that job with claiming, I think, about six, seven dependents. I was like, they better not ask no questions. Shit, I'm trying to keep as much money of this paycheck I can, but that shit don't matter because taxes is crazy. But anyway, so a nigga been there. Nina boy, I think he made that shit up. He made that shit up. He just looking for some content to take off from my hand. He, I got to do something. Put some glass. That shit didn't even look like glass. It looked like 
look like something. Now, I I made a video. I ain't made it public, but uh, I looked up Nina Boy, and bro was facing an eviction. And when I was looking at the reviews of the apartments, people said that's a Section A apartment. Don't move there. They said they got roaches, pipes, and shit be having mold, water leaks. Promise to God. I'm like, damn. Boy, you got on that camera talking all that shit. You going through it. My main message is just embrace the struggle, nigga. Embrace the struggle. We all going through it. Everything fucked up. And as a tip, I was on, um, damn, I got to get these 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 words right with this gas tank. I can't figure these. Quarter tank. It's half a tank. Quarter tank. I think that's the line before empty, right? It's like back in the day when you could put $5, like if your shit was like real low, you could put $5 and then get to that first notch. What's that? That's quarter tank, right? So I was right there. I put uh, 25 in, or I think 30. That shit got a nigga a little bit over half. So back to Nina Boy Gas Tank, nigga, you put $8 in there and that shit, and my girl told me I calculated it right. 19.7 miles or 18. He was getting about there. So I know that that rental car place was somewhere up over there. And he was just on a podcast yesterday talking about the fight again. He was thinking about the whole time why he didn't, why he wasn't finna fight Bosco because he was talking about how much money he had spent from Vegas going to LA and shit. I wouldn't have spent that much. How could you talk about? I'm not spending nothing. I would look good for who? Hood niggas and hood bitches? Bitches out in the motherfucking boxing match going like that. You know them bitches was in the end. Fuck him up, Bosco. Get them, Nina boy. Get them, cow. Ratchet bitches. All type of problems going up in that motherfucker. That's B100. Half of them hood motherfuckers got up in there for free. Shit. Somebody got to be smart. He said Bosco was smiling the whole time because he got his money. Shit, I would have been too if I got my motherfucking money. Shit, I got all type of rich shit. I got the money. What if I don't really got to fight? Shit. That's probably why Bosco would fight like that. Hey, put a oh, motherfucking rig. I got it. It's time for a new car. Struggle real. This motherfucker already idling and shit. I said this motherfucker get ready to cut off. I gotta get the other car fixed. But anyway, Nina boy, we all going through it, bro. It's fucked up out here. Simple as that. Cause if you, if you, if you, I ain't, I ain't no telling. I don't, I don't know shit. That nigga capping with that damn that El Polo Loco boat. Motherfucker, boy. You better call corporate out of. He should have recorded it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm, t- I'm trying to get a lawsuit. I'm not even lying to you. We going through shit with our apartment and shit. I'm like, I'm telling my girl, dog, nah, hold on, don't call him yet. Let him keep fucking up. We already didn't talk to a lawyer. I'm like, I'm, ooh, I'm trying to get a lawsuit. I'm not gonna cap. Everything is up. Motherfucking food prices up. I went to the store one time. I bullshit you not. The lady said. It was too late because I was already in the register. She rung them bitches up. She said, oh, I just want to let you know. She said, the grapes is, uh, the grape prices went up. Is that fine? I said, yeah. So I looked at the receipt. These grapes was $2.99. They wasn't organic or nothing. That motherfucker, one was $6.99. The other one was seven, like 16 I said, damn, for some grapes? And I was mad as fuck because my girl didn't even eat the motherfucking grapes. And that's another side note. These women, oh my God, when y'all get on the healthy tip, y'all be tripping. I probably wasted, I know I wasted thousands of dollars going to the motherfucking store, buy a whole bunch of shit that my girl done put down and she don't eat it. Because she want to, oh, I'm going healthy, bang, this, 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 going healthy. I go in the refrigerator, it's all type of shit. I done bought like four packs of fucking apples. They still in the refrigerator. She ain't even open them motherfuckers. Y'all women crazy in the motherfucker. Salad. Bought a big ass bag of salad. And throw, she just threw it out the other day. Don't say that. I ain't gonna say shit because you already know. You already know. How you gotta tell these women, keep me out that confusing ass shit y'all be going through, man. But anyway, back to Nina Boy. Nigga said they put some glass in the damn taco bowl. He finna soup. What you gonna sue for? You acting like you got all this money and shit. Niggas broke living at your mama house. Boy, everything you eating is affordable than a motherfucker. That bowl is like $5. Yeah, about $5. That shit ain't expensive. That ain't no hot selling item. Simple as that. That's why you went and got it. Because I'm telling you right now, I go to El Polo Loco all the time. My dad, the burrito, I be getting a little keto burrito. 
That shit like seven, eight dollars. I don't even. I think he had a drink, you know. But uh, eight dollars shorty when he was at that place in Las Vegas, that nigga had a water cup, and the waiter gave him a free drink because he over there talking to him. And the waiter was like, "Oh, I'm down with the culture, bro. I know. I, I watch AD and No Jumper. I'm down with the culture, bro." Need a boy here. Check my Instagram, bro. Like my YouTube. You, 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 you follow me? I'm sitting there like y'all can tell. Nina boy put them glasses on when he around white folks. I said this in my other video if I if I make it public. That's what he do. In there talking proper than a motherfucker. I said he over here. I'm looking down on you bird brains. I said he got that from a white man out there. Now he heard that from somebody in Vegas. Vegas rich dude was like yeah. Cause where the nigga was at? He was like in some type of tower. He was like. Mm -hmm. Heard it from white dude, yeah, when you go up there, you can look at the bird brains. He was like, check that game, no, and stole that man's shit. Bird, what the fuck, bird brains? Coming from a hood gangsta ass nigga like, need a boy? Now look, people gotta learn, look man, when you get old, sometimes the game banging shit, it's cool, you know, to be chill with the shit, but need a boy, extra out, this nigga in a Honda, blowing white smoke out that motherfucker, damn. That shit gonna have a smoking problem. Anyway, any boy, sometimes you gotta chill. Like, I had to see the, a couple of Crip niggas that done reacted to uh, Nina Boy. Like, okay, they got some cool personality, you know? But Nina Boy, like, one of them extra out niggas. My opinion, though. Like, I don't gangbang no more, and Nina Boy way older than me. But I would not hang out with Nina Boy. Like, he just seemed like a weird fucking friend. Like, he just weird. Like, he probably get niggas into some shit. Fucking talk to them. Like, weird. That nigga is a weird nigga. For real. But, anyway, I'm about to get ready to end this video. I ain't finna make it too long. Yeah, I'm out. Y'all have a good one.